What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master one and welcome back for some more Fire Emblem Heroes and this is gonna be my in-depth analysis and review of Dean, our latest Tempest Trial unit and I'll be going over the best builds that you can run on him for different game modes like Summoner Duels, Ether Raids, PvE and Arena. So with that said, let us begin. Dean is a Colorless Dagger Cavalier and that's a pretty unique class type for a free-to-play unit because the only other easily available Dagger Cavalier we have is Merlinus in the 3 star 4 star pool and Merlinus doesn't exactly hit very hard. Dean comes with a new inedible weapon in Bone Carver Plus which not only sounds really badass but it's actually a really nice weapon. So if his HP is 25 or above then he can get plus 5 attack and speed during the combat and also after the combat if he attacked then he can deal 7 passive damage on the target and deal 7 splash damage on foes who are within 2 spaces of that target. So you could consider this kind of savage blow weapon but not really because this weapon actually works in both phases and can also damage the target for 7 damage. And this weapon again can function in both phases, has a really nice lenient condition. So all things considered this is a really nice budget dagger especially because it provides you with some extra offenses. And then he comes with the first free to play snag skill that we have in speed defense snag. So whenever you use a movement assist skill by this unit or on this unit then you can debuff the nearest foes within 4 spaces for minus 6 speed and defense debuff. And this skill is decent, I mean it's okay on budget but there are definitely way better options that Dean can run if you actually invest into him. And this is mostly going to be used for arena assault and for budget builds. And finally he has got odd speed wave which is kind of underwhelming in 2022. A Rao skill would have been much better but oh well. And his stat spread is also pretty nice having 39 base speed and having a super boon in it. So Dean can be really fast and he also has decent attack stat at base 36. It's not the highest in the modern standards but still it's workable and he can definitely do the offensive role as a dagger cavalier. His bulk is not the highest but still he is not totally frail on the physical side. Overall Dean is a solid free to play unit who is unique in the grail pool because of his rare class type and he doesn't really have any competition from the other grail units and he does have good offenses to make use of a lot of the daggers out there which are inheritable like the Mayogi daggers, courtly fan, quick dagger and so many of the other options. Because of the cavalry mobility he can have access to the trace skills and trace skills are going to be useful in pretty much all of the game modes. And then because of being a dagger unit and having high mobility, he can certainly utilize disarm trap in either raids. His speed is really high and he also has a super boon in it. So that can enable the courtly fan and wind sweep builds which can definitely give Dean a pretty nice offensive role. Even though Dean is a really unique grail unit, there are still some of the reasons why people may not want to invest into him and the biggest reason and competition being Yuri. So even though there are not too many dagger cavaliers in the grail pool, there is still Yuri there who can be sparked and he's probably going to be having a rerun banner from twitter pool. So Yuri is basically a better cavalry unit because of his preferred weapon, not really having any kind of weakness of cavalry units, not stopped by the trenches and also has a fixed canto built into his weapon which is going to be superior than the trace skills most of the times. And he also has access to the infantry skills like time pulse, null follow up which makes it so that he can make use of AoE specials and lethality a lot easily compared to Dean who doesn't have access to time pulse and a lot of times if you want to have a pre-charge special on him then you need some kind of outside support. And because he's not infantry he can also not utilize the infantry pulse support which Yuri can also abuse oftentimes. So I know it's a bit of an unfair comparison with Yuri who's a menace but still it has to be done because Dean is a dagger cavalier here. And Dean doesn't really have a preferred weapon, so if you have invested into some other dagger units like Yuri, Volk, Ninja Lin or Ninja Green, um, then they can provide you with more unique value compared to Dean. But still having said that, Dean is a solid unit because of being a free to play dagger cavalier, but you will certainly need a lot of resources to invest into him and make the best use out of him. So if you want to build him up on a budget, then you can simply run Savage Blow on both Sacred Seal and the Slot C. So this can pretty much give you 21 splash damage with his Bone Carver Plus and this is a really nice budget build because you can just use Fury Desperation which is as old as time and uh, this can be useful in something like Arena Assault. And then if you want to invest a bit more into him then I feel like a solo skill could be really good 
um, and it is present on so many units. Loud speed defense is available to us from the limited ephemera manuals, so it's not exactly the hardest skill to get as of right now. But if you want to make the full use of the speed super boon that Dean has got and his offenses, then Courtly Fan Plus or Vicious Dagger from Renak is going to be a really fantastic option for his weapon. And this can allow for the wind sweep builds, so you can run wind sweep and slot B. And because Courtly Fan has got the partial null follow up, you're able to follow up attack through wind sweep and still not get counter attacked. So it provides you with extra attack and speed and also this partial null follow up, which can enable wind sweep and you can safely attack many of the enemies. Of course, enemies like Ascended Fjorm who have Null Counter Disrupt weapon are going to be unaffected by Wind Sweep, so that could be a problem. But most of the time, this kind of courtly fan build is really, really solid offensively and Dean has got the stats to definitely make use of this to its full potential. You can also run a cat skill in slot A. This is definitely something which uh, Dean has got over Yuri. The cat skills are pretty nice and in my opinion better than the ideal skills. So you could run that and you can also run Attack Speed Menace so that you can buff yourself up and also get the debuffs even before engaging into a combat to activate your cat skill. So that can make Dean even more powerful and then Blade Session is going to be there to just completely maximize your offenses with the cat skill. So the Courtly Fan build is going to be a staple for Dean. There are certainly going to be other variations of this build where you can run other slotty and slotty skills depending on the resources and the skills that you have available for fodder. We can also use Dean in Summoner Duels and because of being a ranged cavalry unit, he automatically has a lot of usage there. Now even though he's no Yuri, he's still gonna be a really solid unit at max investment. And in Summoner Duels, you have a lot of flexibility to run different weapons. You can also run the cavalry effective and armor effective daggers to get the value out of that. And you can also run Quick Dagger with Moonbow to have a pre-charged Moonbow. Courtly Fan is also something that you could run and I personally like that because even if we're not using Wind Sweep, the fact that you get the partial null follow up and extra offenses can really help you in many matchups. So it provides you with more versatility in different matchups. So I definitely like that. And you can get attack speed push for and attack speed for trace from Constance uh, in the upcoming legendary banner or even whenever it gets a rerun from the Twitter poll. So that's an option that you could have access to. You can run other slotty skills on him, but in my opinion, having a skill that can function in both phases really helps in summoner duels. Even though Wind Sweep is used with Courtly Fan, I still would suggest having a Fought Trace skill in Summoner Duels because the Trace utility is really insane there. And as it is in Summoner Duels, Unrestricted Mode is basically Kanto Land. So you might as well, you know, dive into that with a Trace skill. And Savage Blow is fine for Slotzy. Again, it's flexible depending on your team. So he's quite flexible to be used in uh, Summoner Duels with many Captain skills, Quick Draw, Eminence, um, or just having secret maneuver but if you're going to be running secret maneuver captain skill then i feel like you could run lethality and that's definitely one of the easier ways of having lethality being useful on him because he doesn't have access to time pulse like yuri and he cannot really benefit from infantry pulse uh, the options to pre-charge the specials are definitely limited uh, to like legendary hector or grand stretcher plus so that's why the secret maneuver skill can be really useful in summoner duels so that he can have a pre-charged lethality on turn two and that can kill a lot of units even a lot of really bulky armors so quick dagger can provide you with minus two special cooldown at start of a map and quick and pulse brings it down to one and then on turn two you can simply have a pre-charged lethality because of secret maneuver captain skill a trace skill is going to be really helpful to just hit and run after nuking something he can also be used in Arena with Sea Duel Cavalry 4. Not exactly the best option or the best scoring option, but still, having a Cavalier with a Fautre skill and the Cavalry mobility can certainly be helpful. And in Arena, you definitely want to run a Trace skill because you can get the counter utility to just hit and run. And that's really useful in Arena where you're not able to run the movement as the skills. Finally, if you want to use him in Aetherate's offense, then he can be run with Disarm Trap. And on a budget, at Unmerged, he can run this kind of build uh, with Fury 4 and Fury 3 and drop below 50% HP in two combats. So that can set up Wings of Mercy allies like Dancers and Wings of Mercy Guild for CNETs. But the catch is that he needs to have 56 or below HP. And for that, you need to use a Trade Fruits on him. Thankfully, he does have the Super Bane in HP, so he can exactly hit 56 HP. But unfortunately, this means that you cannot refine his weapon because if he exceeds 56 HP, then he's not going to be able to fall into the Wings of Mercy range in two combats. 
So it's really restrictive in nature, in my opinion, but still it's something that you could do with Dean at Unmerged. But if you have invested into Dean, and if you still want to use him in Aetherite's offense with a Wings of Mercy enabler build, then Pumpkin in a Box is the option here, so that you can have Fury 10, and basically take 20 damage after each combat, so that can allow you to fall into Wings of Mercy range in two combats. So again, that's the setup that you could do with Dean in Aetherite's offense. Unfortunately, Dean has to pick either Disarm Trap or the Trace Skill for Aetherite's offense. Meanwhile, Yuri has access to both of them because he has got Kanto in his weapon and he can simply run Disarm Trap. So again, that is going to be the competition coming into the play. But still, if you really love Dean, then that's an option. You could also run him in Aetherite's defense as a Lethality Dagger Cavalier. And uh, Quick Dagger is really useful here. You want to run a unit with Grand Stratcher Plus. We do get Grand Stratcher from Hot Spring Sakura in this month's Ephemera Manual, so it's not the hardest thing to get. So you need to have a healer. With ARD Attack Speed 4, Lot Speed Defense, you can just try to maximize his offenses. And Quicken Pulse is needed here with a Grand Stratcher unit so that he can have a pre-charged Lethality at turn 1. Again, you can run Coldly Fan and Wind Sweep build here for Aetherite's defense, but unfortunately Ascended Fjorm is a really popular far save tank. So Wind Sweep is unfortunately not going to be doing too much against her, so you might as well just run a pre-charged Lethality build to really nuke a lot of units and a lot of tanks. So I hope you all enjoyed this in-depth review. Make sure to share this video with your friends who are also thinking of building up Dean. I definitely went over a lot of the options, and if you did enjoy, then make sure to leave a like and a comment. Helps me tremendously, and if you really, really enjoyed, you could always support me directly by using Super Thanks down below or by becoming a YouTube member. I really appreciate all of my YouTube members, and for more Fae Analysis videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Because YouTube sub boxes show my videos as many times as the amount of people that pick Dean over Sonia. So with that said, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.